the summertime, there is no better place to be than the island of Sodor. The engines are happy to show vacationers the wonderful sights to be seen. But this year, there was a problem. Thomas and Emily were in the foundry for repairs. I need to find a way to carry more passengers, grumbled Sir Topham Hatt. We have more vacationers and fewer engines, said Emily. A double-decker problem, added Thomas. A double-decker problem? Hmm. This gave Sir Topham Hatt an idea. He drove straight to Bulgy's field. Bulgy is a double-decker bus. He was turned into a hen house after he caused a silly accident. Good news, Bulgy. I'm putting you back on the road. Thank you, sir. I'll be the best bus ever. Bulgy never liked being a hen house anyway. The next day, he went to the foundry. Bulgy, exclaimed Thomas, what are you doing here? I'm being repaired. I'm going back on the road. I think you'll be helping the new farmer, said Emily. He needs to deliver his vegetables around the island. Vegetables? Huh. I'm going to carry passengers. Soon, Bulgy was refitted inside and out. He looked smart and shiny. Even James was impressed. Ooh! When Bulgy returned to his field, the hens thought their old house looked splendid. We'll start in the morning, said his driver. You'll stay here tonight. Bulgy was soon fast asleep. But the hands missed their role. One by one, they crept aboard and went to sleep in the luggage racks. Bulgy knew nothing. The next morning, Bulgy picked up lots of passengers. All aboard, he tooted, and set off for the station. was driving so smoothly that the hens didn't wake up. All was well until Bulgy turned the corner. Trevor was pulling a hay cart. Get out of my way! He overtook Trevor. Bulgy swerved. The hens woke up. The passengers panicked, and Bulgy's driver lost control. The heads were frightened. They flapped, they squawked. Stop, cried Bulgy's passengers. We want to get off. The passengers were covered in feathers and broken eggs. They were very cross. This bus is full of hens, they complained. We shall tell Sir Topham Hatt. It's not my fault, sulked Bulgy. Sir Topham Hatt sent Bulgy to be cleaned. Silly hens, silly passengers, you can have them both. The farmer still needs help with his vegetables, said Emily. A vegetable bush? Hmm, hey, that's not such a bad idea. And we're back carrying passengers, smiled Thomas. Bulgy is happy now. He has new green paintwork and a smart serving hatch. So Topham had agreed he could become the island's only vegetable stand on wheels. Bulgy likes carrying vegetables. They don't lay eggs. And they never complain. <laughs>